people! Welcome to our review of Sing Street. Connor, what is this film about? Sing Street is about a boy who falls in love with a model, and he asks her out by saying, Hey, we have a band. We need someone to model for our, our music video. And he doesn't actually have a band. So it's really about... The movie, the movie is basically about him creating the band and doing... Uh, and him just getting really into music for the girl. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, let me just say, up front, this film's awesome. It's amazing. It's an awesome film. This I know is the best film of the year, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, it's, it's your best film of the year, which is quite high praise because you think it's better than 10 Cloverfield Lane, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is quite high praise. Um, this movie, let me just say, straight out the front, I know we're both going to agree on this, the original music is awesome. Yes, all of it is. Yeah. And what's awesome about the film is they have some... 80s music that isn't original, and it's kind of based off of that 80s music. Yeah. Like, he listens to a Duran Duran song, and then he has like a Duran Duran themed song, and he listens to a The Cure song, and then he has a, a The Cure themed song, and then he listens to a Joe Jackson song, and he has a Joe Jackson themed song, and that's what's awesome about this film. Yeah, I, I really, and the music sounds like it could have came out of the 80s. Yeah. It really felt like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, not only that, but the use of music from the 80s yes. was awesome. It was re really well used. Yeah, I, I agree with that. And uh, the comedy of this film is awesome. Yes, it's, it's really funny. Most of it is awkward comedy, but yeah. it's, it's really awesome. Yeah. Um, it is a complete feel-good movie. It makes you feel really good. Yeah, it does. You, you're just, if you, if you don't smile at least once in that film, then you have no heart. Yeah. And you need to get that checked because your heart must have crawled out of your body at some time because yeah. this is, it's it's undeniably optimistic. And sometimes you think, oh, this film isn't super rich. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. This is insanely optimistic. I can't think that. And I didn't come up with many bad things in the theater just because I wasn't thinking bad while I was watching the movie. Yeah. I was just super optimistic, and that's why I came up with a lot of good things about the film. Yeah, um... All the acting was great. Yeah, it was. And like, the chemistry among everyone yeah. was awesome. The chemistry, yeah. Um, yeah, it's really charming. It's it is charming. Really charming. Um, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I do think that this film is just... It's a great... Um, it's a great film with some great scenes. My favorite scene in it is a scene where the main character gets lost in music. And he's just seeing what he wants to happen in the world. And yeah. it's 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 the kind of scene that you're watching same scene same type of thing in Gravity where while you're watching it you think it's real just because you're so into it and then when you realize it's not real your heart sort of becomes broken and then you realize oh yeah there's no way that that scene could have been real but you're just so into the movie that it feels like that um, the family you wanted drama Gravity to be real well no 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 the scene <laughs> where like uh, George Clooney's character is coming into the pod. Yeah when she's being translucent. Yeah. Uh, the family drama is really well used in the film. It doesn't take up the entire yes. film, which is what it really could have done, but the way that they used the family drama here and there was just the great. The brother. The brother was the, awesome. The drama between the brother, uh, the, the two brothers, that was amazing. Yeah, and quite original, too. Like, you yeah. don't really see that drama in films And, and it was really sad at the ending. Um, there was some brother drama at the end, and I almost cried. I, yeah. I did have some tears in my eyes. It, it was really sad, but... Again, this film is a happy sad, but whenever he it is sad, it immediately follows up with something optimistic. And that's what I love about this film. It just makes you feel happy, and it's an incredibly entertaining film. Yeah, and uh, let me also say, the displaying of the strict school, that really could have felt comical, but yeah. it didn't. It felt, you just felt bad for the kid that was forced to go to that school, because... Yeah. It wasn't, like, some sort of abusive school at all. Well, I mean, it was in a few cases, but it wasn't, like, constantly an abusive school. There was just a lot of stupid rules that were going on. We've all felt that, where we go to yeah. school, like, why is this a rule? Like, why can't we wear hats? Just because some hats are used as gang signs doesn't mean all hats are. Why are silly bands banned? Because they're, they're you know, just things that go around your arm. Like, yeah. Fitbits, why aren't Fitbits banned? You know, it's just, <laughs> it's stuff like that, and it's really relatable in that way. Relatable. Relatable, yeah. And uh, it's also impossible not to enjoy, yeah, which I also previously stated. I don't think there's anyone who can dislike this movie. Unless you are unless you don't have a heart. Yeah. Uh, do you have anything bad about this movie? No. Uh, I have I have two bad things. I think what, what I really find 
when when a film can be great is when I forget I'm watching a film and I feel an out of body experience and I feel something spiritual with the film. Like I'm not sitting in a theater, I'm inside of the film. And I didn't really get that feeling really? for a while. Yeah, I mean like really? maybe I thought it took like twenty or thirty minutes in till I really felt like I was super huh. into the movie. And I thought the ending was cheesy. I mean, you're like, Really? They're gonna do that. Really? That's... I did not think that was cheesy. You didn't think that was cheesy? I thought that was really cheesy. that's what cheesy. her previous boyfriend was going to do. I know. I just I just sort of felt that was cheesy. But yeah. whatever. Overall, uh, this is what, impossible something else to try. I, something else I forgot was um, the title of their band is awesome. Yeah. Because the school is Sanctuary, but spelled differently. Yeah. And Yeah. That, yeah. that was brilliant. Yeah, I agree. So uh, Overall, this is an amazing film. You should definitely see it. It's going out of theaters right now, but it's going to go on Blu-ray and DVD soon. Definitely watch it. I definitely recommend it. It's my favorite movie of the year. It's in my top 30 or 25. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got to say, I do. I just truly do love this movie. It's it's not the kind of film that I don't. I think I'll buy on Blu-ray or anything like that, but it's just it's a, such an enjoyable film, and it's I just I love this film. That is why I give it an 8.5 out of 10. Connor. I give this a 10 out of 10. Of course. All right. So that concludes our review of Sing Street. I am Robert Burke. And I'm Connor Gold. And this has been The Clever Critics. Goodbye.